was most responsible for projecting that kind of hip hop jazz connection was Giles Peterson. And I think that uh, in the wake of acid jazz, I think that what he was beginning to look for as a DJ was uh, a more contemporary kind of vision. So that what he wanted to do was uh, bring together kind of uh, jazz with the now sound, which for him had to be hip hop. The way I started was basically by going to basic, straightforward kind of dance clubs particularly soul music, black music clubs. And I'd hear the odd kind of crossover jazz tune, like a Grove Washington or a Sandborn or something like that. And that was really how I was introduced to the music. And it just sounded so good coming out of a really big sound system. And for the first time I heard jazz in the right kind of environment, in a kind of club vibe, um, the power of the music was at the fore. For example, if you were um, a jazz dancer of kind of the IDJ caliber or whatever, then you were seen to be able to go out there and boogie with the rest of the crowd and cut some of the hip-hop moves, etc. But at the same time, you were able to dance jazz. And normally that meant that you were at the kind of pinnacle of the dance hierarchy within the scene. And then a lot of the dancers uh, on the London scene that were uh, really dancing, and, you know, they were just dancing and they really had a groove going. And it doesn't matter if it's ba 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 bee ba 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 there have been so many sort of, you know, subtle fusions, and it's, it's been a subtle build-up. I mean, recently it's really come to the fore, particularly with, you know, the jazz thing tuned by Gangstar. And to a degree, you know, everyone now is beginning to see beyond sampling James Brown, which is really the hip-hop kind of perspective. They're kind of hearing music from the 60s, music from the 50s, which is, you know, mainly jazz music, and they're thinking, this is going to sound wicked. On my, on my new rhymes and beats. And, and as a result, you've got a whole new generation of hip hop fans who are listening to this and they're going, you know, where is that beat from? What is that bit of, bit of music there? And that's how they're coming into jazz, which is positive.